Good morning. It's a. Uh, I think it's Thursday after Wednesday. Is it Thursday? Thursday. I don't know. Uh, in the beginning of January twenty twenty three, and um, <coughs> yeah, you heard it. And I, it have started uh, illness. Um, so I wake up with a fever and but not so much coughing but it may be will develop it uh, it should have been a miracle if I had uh, not got anything from the flights because between Tel Aviv and Finland uh, most of of the people in the airplane was sick, coughing, sneezing. One was throwing up, and uh, it was some flus, normal flus. So I hope this is a normal flu and not like my the one that sit on the side of me on the on the left side so we have this empty space between us but he was so very sick it was almost so he could die and he was walking of course to the to the bathroom to the toilet because he, the flight was over four hours so he spread all this around in the airplane and I, I have mask on but it they go so very high up in the sky because we were uh, flying so close to Ukraine and Russia uh, uh, but not over Ukraine and Russia uh, but it was like they I had to go very high up in the air, so high as they could do it, so it was extremely warm, and I couldn't breathe in my mask, so I had to hold the finger under the mask to could breathe, uh, or else I have not to make it. <coughs> I was forced to do it by that how the airplane was flying and we were flying in a different way to Finland over countries that had no war so it was very hard and I have ordered food to eat because I had no food to eat uh, the whole time since I took with me some food from the breakfast but after twelve, after lunch time I didn't have anything to eat and we we uh, uh, we fly away from Tel Aviv at midnight uh, zero 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 <laughs> at midnight just when the new day start so it was I was very hungry and I knew I should be hungry so I had already ordered it when I bought the flight ticket so so I I have to eat because you know I have diabetes and you have to be careful with that you need to eat um, so I maybe got it there when I eat uh, and it was flying all over the airplane inside the airplane all kind of illness sickness so I hope I am 
uh, like blessed to have only a normal flu and not these bad things that was going on. But I don't know it yet because it's only fever now and uh, my nose start to flowing. So I hope it's a, a normal flu I have. So I need to talk to you uh, today because I don't know how uh, it will develop this illness. And uh, this morning I was thinking about that my daughter, she read very much books and she is very interesting in history. And, and to my surprise, is she is a Christian. She, uh, she is with a, like a sect. And I was never thinking that she should know more the truth about Jerusalem. And it's she that uh, taught me about this, that uh, Helen... Helena uh, is the Constantine one. His mother, she was in Jerusalem. And uh, she, uh, uh, I don't talk about her so much. So you need to, to look at it and read about her. But she was in, in Jerusalem and she, in uh, uh, year about uh, 250-300 in Jerusalem and she was uh, interested of ar archaeologic things so she did many uh, digging in the ground and she claimed to have find Jesus cross and uh, the thorn crown and uh, it can fit into my my family tree because she is one of my ancestors in my family tree and uh, and I have talked about that my ancestors that is in heaven they have wanted me to uh, visit those places there where they have been, uh, where they have lived for short or long time. That is of interest for them that I should know. And uh, Jesus' crown on the cross, he it was sent to France because there there is. My mother's line is going into France to those royals, and uh, and there uh, the crown is in uh, Lorraine, the museum in Paris, Lorraine, and that is the only place of uh, historic interest that I have been. To. I have been there to Lawrence <coughs> and I have been to Paris maybe five times. I have been to the Eiffel Tower at least three times, one time with my daughter and um, so and the what they say the cross was also fine, but more like a fragment of it. And uh, when I was in in Rome, in the Vatican State, I was there to Saint Peter Church. And that's also something that my sister wanted me. To visit so I was there but I didn't know they wanted 
me to visit that place. It was only that I thought it was fun to do some tourist things that this, not uh, really tourist things, but these that you have to do when you travel. Places where it's talking about. That's why I come to Vatican State and to St. Petersburg Church and was in there and uh, saw this uh, things that was inside and uh, when we come in into the St. Peter Church there was a pillar pillar four pillars in in the start I think it's long time I was told since I was there I was there in uh, 78, 79, like that. And uh, so I don't remember really where things was inside the church. Uh, but it was for a pillar. And uh, it's that uh, when you see something, sometimes it seems to be a normal size of the pillar that was in St. Petersburg Church because the church was so high, was so high up, uh, the, the ceiling was high up. Uh, so she, the guide, she asked, because you uh, was not allowed to go by yourself, <coughs> you needed to have a guide, so you don't uh, steal anything or touch things that you shouldn't. And we, we were not allowed to, take picture but I did that in secret some picture and and uh, she uh, she asked us how tall do you think that the pillar are these four pillars and I say it's a maybe a normal a little taller maybe four or five meters and she say it's a uh, five floors house fly so tall was it and inside those pillars should it be fragment of uh, the cross and uh, and that uh, this uh, covering of the face of Jesus when he was not there in the grave but the angels say he's gone but there was fibers laying there and it's like it was inside the pillars because the uh, the pillar was nothing more than pillars but it had holy things in it so it's very hard to know what is true what is a lie but I, I maybe need to go after what uh, where I have been because my a sister one have wanted me to to visit those places where they were living and uh, like special places uh, so uh, some of it is truth, some of it is lie and it's hard to know and I let it be like that we don't need to to know the truth of the history it's about here and now today we should be about it's not about this fighting what where the places are what the names of these people what is the the truth or not truth what we need to know is what is going on today and there is a history and you can learn from the history also but it's not the most important. The most important is your life today. 
And uh, so my daughter was t- telling me very much. She said she liked it was a book she had read about this. And she thought it was very interesting about it. So uh, Helena Constantine, one uh, wife, uh, ex wife, wife, <laughs> they were divorced. Uh, she was the one that built the street in the old city of Jerusalem. So there, I have right, I told it before, that those streets in the old city of Jerusalem, they didn't exist when Jesus was living. He was walking in more like dust, uh, uh, rocks, like that. It was Helena that covered the street in the old city in Jerusalem. Uh, and uh, she lived in uh, about 300. And, uh, uh, and uh, Jesus had been dead for a long time. So that is a very lie if peop- Christian people believe that Jesus walked in the old city in, on that covering of the street. And I have to say that. It's impossible that Jesus could have walked there because I have been taught by Jesus himself when I was homeless in in you in United States. I had Jesus walking side by side with me and he talk, told me about his childhood for me and he it uh, he told me how hard it was to walk there because there was not really any streets like uh, we think today and uh, so it was only the, those a little more uh, narrow roads that uh, those uh, well coming the wise men is coming from uh, with the camels and those animals they had to donkeys and these things have made the wagon have made this track into the city of Jerusalem, the old city of Jerusalem. Uh, so there was no covering. Though people had not that kind of money, even if there was royals in Jerusalem, they had other interest to to do and spend the money on. Uh, so uh, that uh, I wanted to tell you that I was uh, I'll be reminded because my daughter say that when I was in Jerusalem uh, and she I asked her what her name was I thought it was Sophia but she, it was Helena and uh, so she told me about it some of it have I forget uh, so uh, I have studied today and uh, my uh, sister they come to Europe very early with these tribe Franks that was in the Catholic Church and then uh, they going to be more like their own believing and they were Jewish also mixed and uh, I don't remember uh, about this about the tribes tribes of Franks but it is they that have uh, make the country that side of Europe to be called France because it's from them Frank and all those 
Maya sisters is from the Frank. Uh, the sure name Frank. Uh, and that's Jewish because Jesus was Jewish and I have that line in me. DNA in me. I have Jesus DNA in me. If I should brag about it. But it's nothing to have. And especially after being to Jerusalem, they didn't accept me, the Jewish. Uh, nothing. So it's no. It is only for myself to know where I'm coming from, that I am a royal. Uh, uh, that is. But you, you that have the real God in your heart, you are also royal. It's a spirit royal and there is literary royals. I'm both of it. And so it it's very hard for me now because my nose start to be stopping it so I can't really breathe uh, properly. So I don't, and I fever take away what I should tell you more about, but it is uh, when I come back from Israel, now I can tell you the truth, because uh, it's harder for them to come up in my face and be hateful and do bad things to me. So uh, I will tell you later on about, I don't even, Jamie I met in Jerusalem, that I didn't know who he was. But today I know. When I come back to Sweden, I understood the whole thing. And that was one of the devil's children that come up to me and wanted me to uh, ride to be with him in a taxi and I remember how he come I sit in the back seat but he was like a snake coming between the seats and touch me with a, like a snake form and, uh, and he was like today I don't understand how he could go so close for, uh, to my face but he, he was like a snake and I was into that I have just finished my walk under God so I thought I was okay there and then it should be only good things to come. But uh, the devil tried to take me one last time. And I, and, uh, I see today all this future, this uh, significate of the, the devil like a snake. And he and the, the devil he want to uh, uh, to have your money that's the first sign and you should run away from them the, when they want the money and uh, heaven told me that I should give him money to test and to see it <coughs> But I was so much into, because I longing so much to be loved of some, of, of a man. So I didn't see it. That's how, how it is with us people that we are blinded with our uh, eyes and ears. Uh, because we want it so much. I, I want to be loved. I won't so badly be loved of someone, but uh, it's like 
uh, the devil did one thing in me that I don't think I will have many in this life. Uh, so uh, the devil want to have all your money, and then he he also think the power of your your life is to have good sex with you. But this snake couldn't make sex with me because he wanted me to touch his his thing there between his leg but he was soft he was not hard at all because he couldn't feel he had no no love in him he had nothing in him he was dead and it's showing that and I'm thankful for that because he couldn't rape me or else he maybe could have raped me but he was soft the whole time and that was maybe uh, a help from heaven that he didn't rape me because he couldn't be hard and so that showed me that the devil is also this that he have no love in him he's dead inside him he only want and he never give so that's I so all the sides but I wanted so much to be loved and I enjoy I I pay ma- many much money on for to get this little love he gave me when I wanted to have kiss from him he he didn't kiss me on my mouth he kissed me on the side the whole time so he it was no love in him so I understand it today and uh, then he write me uh, an email and send me his bank uh, ideas all things for for to give send him money uh, he thought when I was out from Israel I should still give him all my money but uh, now I'm free from him because I am so far away so he's not coming uh, and try to kill me or be angry now instead he he won't he don't see it what he have done and he want me to to teach him about God and uh, I told him in an email I say to him uh, when I was thinking about you I I remember that God have told me for many years ago so I had not in my first memory but God was telling me about the end of of this uh, time <laughs> that in the end time it should be that the the devil understand in the end of of this time that he can't win he have the whole time tried to be God himself he wanted more than what God had he wanted to be the first one he wanted to be the first love for for people and now when he face me and see that he can't trick me because I know him. Uh, I was occupied of him in Israel, but I'm free when I come back to Sweden. So now I'm t- telling him the truth that he is a child of the devil and that uh, God told me that the devil. 
he go bored because now is it that he win everything the world is so so bad and it's going his way and when it does this he be bored he have no one to fight with that's why he say that he loves me and that he he means that he loves that he have someone to fight with uh, and you know jesus say that you can't be on both sides but most people do this they say i am okay i can be in the world and do what the world want me to do and listen to the world and also be into god it's many that do those tattoos things on the skin and they say that doesn't matter i have god in my heart anyway and they don't have because they they uh, sign up for the devil with their tattoos i i i know that some of you have done the tattoos far away in your life when you didn't understood what's going on and that god knows that but if you do it when you know god and you still do the tattoos then you are not in god you have to choose side that was jesus was saying and that's what i he heard from god and told us that the, if you are not with us you are against us so if you are some part of the devil and uh, join them join these homosexual people join those that do drugs join that drinking uh, their brain off uh, you are not with god you are with the uh, evil things so you have to make a choice you have to this make a decision what side you want to stay at and if you have done a tattoo and understand this you have to it's not about me it's about you that you have to ask god for forgiveness to do these things against him and i hope that that he forgive you for that so it is time for that and it's you need, need to recognize the devil you need to recognize the real wild world and i have taught you in some episodes about it and i will when i be uh, get off this fever i will talk about it more in another episode and but now is it like jamie want to join me he don't want to be the evil one and that was what god was saying to me for many years ago he said that in the end time the devil will be bored about that everyone say yes to him and and then he understand that this is a boring no one want to fight with me and the, then he understand that god is god and he can't win so he come up to god again and ask for forgiveness and god is what what he is he is the forgiveness and so he place the devil on the left side and they, it doesn't end there because god told me that the the devil will fight his own offspring 
So that's where we get the help. It's not coming from from any other prophets that have been here on earth. The real help is from the devil himself because he understand. He start to understand now that he can never fight against God. So the best is way to sit on the side of God to be with God on the side of God and doing like my ancestors doing uh, they help the world in the afterlife and the devil will also help the world in his understanding that he can't win so uh, the, uh, it will be a real fight in 2023 20, still going on but the peak is this year and it will go down later on because I could make the fulfillment God had placed in me to do things and I could do it when I come to Jerusalem and it was you that helped me I couldn't do it by myself I needed to have help from people from human and you did it you you were with me and you will be with me in heaven also because what you did to help me to end this full do the fulfillment for for heaven and from God and I know very much now I didn't know anything in the year 2000 I I didn't have any God I didn't believe but I didn't say I don't want to hear it I say to people that come and ask me if I knew God I say I can't can't believe in what you are saying if I should believe in God I told people uh, if I should believe in God he have to come to me and do something that I can never doubt that I can't deny it should be something special and it come to be special in year 2000 when I was on my way to make a suicide God come and he make me uh, go with my daughter uh, to the doctor and, and the, they took took out egg from my daughter because she couldn't have any children but now she can have children because she have her egg laying in the freeze at a hospital and fertile clinic she have them there and uh, so I saw it was God that helped me to do this I could never have helped helped myself to do, do this with my daughter and God also say to me uh, that my daughter uh, she should Ha- be allowed to have a child in her womb and that what come to be in the hospital because they accept my daughter to could carry a child in her womb and uh, and uh, I knew uh, uh, when I heard God saying that my daughter should carry a baby in her womb, be allowed to carry a baby in, in a womb, not carry, but be allowed to carry. And that was when they took out egg from my daughter. And, and I laugh inside me when God was saying that to me. I laugh and I was thinking, 
this is not God talking to me because he should know that my daughter can never have any child. And uh, I laugh inside me, not loudly. And God say, you laugh like Sarah laugh. Uh, and he knew that I didn't know the Bible. So he said, Sarah, you laugh like Sarah laugh. And then was it like silence and then Abraham did, he say. So I knew Sarah and Abraham. <coughs> so he say that and that means that he he was God. Because Jesus was not in in Sarah and Abraham's time. That was God only. There was no prophets in that time. And uh, so, uh, I know this, uh, that I know God's voice, because he talked to me in the in year 2000, the first time. And he had talked to me when I was a teenager also. He had to- told me to go and heal a girl in the same age. But I think uh, that was also a healing for myself uh, from my childhood. And so uh, uh, I am going to talk a little more about it because uh, I need soon to take fever, uh, fever uh, medicine to take down the fever and Yesterday I ordered coffee medicine that is coming in the evening to my home. And I'm glad I did it, even if I don't have uh, coffee just now, can it be coffee later on? So I'm glad I I have the medicine at home now when... Uh, when I am by myself the whole time, no one can help me. I need to help myself and the protection from heaven to be. So thank you for listening. And I am going to tell you more about Jerusalem and everything I have been through. It's very much... Uh, because it was fulfillment and that is not smooth ride it's hard but it it was needed to be done and you helped me thank you for doing that so god bless you